Today, Precarious plays Pokemon Coliseum. Has Mirror B put a bounty on your head? I like am, among his minions? I think so. It's very aggressive. Yeah. Yes, it is. Grass resists water. Yes, and in particular, Lotad, I believe, is a grass water Pokemon, which means it will take only one quarter of the damage that it would take normally. You could use, um... Takedown, maybe? Yeah. Although Shadow Rush would actually probably be better, because it is... Takedown is a self-damaging move, just like Shadow Rush, and I um. imagine that... I think Shadow Rush's base power is higher. Ah, who cares? Bird's gonna become a teammate soon, because he's... Oh! <laughs> Good word. <laughs> I gotta, gotta hit the kick up in the middle of that. Oh, oh no! Oh. I, I can't look at that while I'm trying to fight. That's adorable. Have you ever seen the Bucket of Baby Sloths? I have. Oh my god, I it's have. just wonderful. I wish that Slackoff was always that cute. Like, I wish it was still cute whenever it was fully evolved, mm -hmm. but... Oh, no, you should, um, you should call it, because it's... Oh, it's doy. furious. Yeah. Because it's a furry. Yeah. It's fast. Weep, weep. He's the fast. He's the furriest. He's furriest! <laughs> Fast and furious. Okay. Oh, look at him tap his little toes. Oh. <laughs> I love you too, man. I love his love his lazy arm drop. Oh my gosh. Can't even be bothered. Okay, I want to talk about the cost associated with healing in Pokemon. Oh yeah. The ideal situation in Pokemon is going into every battle fully healed. Yeah. Because the game very rarely traps you in a location for any length of time, I think that the big one that comes up is at the Elite Four. Uh, both of you guys! Oh. oh. What? Excessive. That is an excessive maneuver, Mantine. <clears throat> Yanma, because Yanma's the one that is, uh, okay. has Shadow Meter left. So the ideal way to begin most fights is full PP, full HP, no status ailments, right? Mm -hmm. The Elite Four at the end of most Pokemon games, like at least, you know, like the, the core series, mm -hmm. that is like the main time that I can think of where they lock you into a particular location. Some of the other, some of the, the more recent titles They'll lock you into a location whenever you have to, like, catch the Pokemon that's on the front of the box, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I vaguely remember being stuck at, like, the Spear Pillar, having to catch <laughs> Dialga or Palkia. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I'm misremembering that. Anyway, there's usually an incentive to just get through whatever that battle is and then take your big legendary Pokemon and you go home. The, ooh, you might want to be wary of that. Yeah. You should probably switch it out because that defense reduction won't won't last through a, um. I'm gonna take Mantine. Well, no, no, not not Yanma, don't switch Yanma out. Oh. Yeah, bro, this is Yanma's turn. Oh. God. Show some Sorry. respect for what the Dragonfly. What does Supersonic do? Just confuses them. Oh, yeah, it might that's be right, it that's might right. be worth using though. Just because they still have so much of their HP, you know? Okay. You could supersonic Wismer, and if it's confused it will It'll be easier to take out Slack off in the mm -hmm. meantime. Mantine, you get your hairy buns out here. Or wait, no, Quilav will probably do a better job. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> I think they're both gonna do an equally poor job right now just because they have to go through a turn of switching and a turn of calling. Yeah, 
Well. Oh, that's awfully specific, the trap I just fell into. Oh, I yeah. apologize. What I happened? should have known that one. Like, hold on, let me just explain what happened. <clears throat> you used supersonic. Wismer's ability is soundproof. And oh. whenever you were deciding like who you wanted to use supersonic on, I actually mm -hmm. thought, no, it will be fine to use supersonic on either of them because I don't think they have own tempo. Uh -huh. Which is an ability that specifically prevents confusion. So I feel like a double <laughs> ass because I was like, don't worry. There's no, like, I remembered that some abilities negate confusion and I didn't say anything because I just, I was thinking, like, it'll be fine because it doesn't have own tempo. Okay. Or uh, is it oblivious? I No, I think oblivious might, might prevent um, stat changes. I, I, I can't remember. So it was embarrassing. It was embarrassing for me just now because I didn't speak up and I should have remembered soundproof. Mm. It's just very few moves Bam. have like that tag, like the relies on sound tag. Mm -hmm. Did you see him wave? He was like, bye bye. bye. Yeah. I'm going to sleep. Okay. Good. He's not even my favorite sloth Pokemon, though. There's more? Slowpoke is a slothish, um, sloth-esque, certainly. I guess a little. I, I want to say he's based on something else, but. Okay, I'm sorry. He is my, not even my favorite slothful, slothful. Pokemon. Yes. Lazy Pokemon. Yeah. I like, I like how relaxed Slowpoke is. Mm-hmm. Oh, so. Healing. The ideal situation to be in is to just have everything full whenever you start a battle. And because they don't restrict you from leaving and going to a Pokemon Center, really the optimal way to handle most situations is... Fight. Mm hmm You didn't check the bottom right, I don't think. Okay, just boxes. Non-interactive boxes at that. No secrets. You should probably heal a little, speaking of healing. Mm -hmm. Maybe stick your nose a little further out there to see if maybe there's a, a switch station or one of the healing stations. I, can't, I don't have camera control and I'm afraid. Mmm, it seems fine. I would even recommend going down the flight of stairs after checking checking over there. Yeah, you can probably stand to go down the flight of stairs. I apologize is I apologize if it's a cutscene boss situation. Nope. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. No, take a take a look around. Don't waste all of your potions just yet. Because those things are expensive. Mmm. Because people, they do challenge you if you just walk in front of them, right? Yes. Okay. It makes me, this game makes me hate the fact that I don't have camera control. Well, that's very typical of Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. I hate yes. those too. <laughs> no. Always hate it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Hate is such a much word. Okay, oh, God. now you should heal. Bye-bye. Okay. So... What they are encouraging you to do, because you can always just go back to a Pokemon Center and heal for free, is they are encouraging you to go back and always heal at a Pokemon Center for free. Mm -hmm. You are paying a cost with your time to enter a battle with everyone at their, their peaky, peaky top. Top pinnacle at the peak of their ability, right? Mm-hmm. And do you have any anything like smaller than a hyper potion? I mean I have the regular potion, but it feels like kind of a waste. It is a waste, but it's on purpose. Ugh. They are wasting your time. Ugh. So I would just use the hyper potions in battle if you need them. Yeah. Like if you 
because they were freebies, mm -hmm. it feels like a waste because they heal so much. Just to hold out for as long as you can. And then heal them in battle with hyper potions if you if you need to. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hi, so lady. It's a sh oh, she she's looking at you. But so, Oh. Like who are you? Oh yeah! Ma'am, that is not how Pokemon rules work. Once trainers make <laughs> eye contact. I, I don't I don't think they should have had the head the head tilt applied to trainers. Mm. Like they do here, you know? Mm-hmm. It's going against the lore. Ew. What? No, Dunsparce is cool. His little belly wave is kind of gross. No, he's good. He's doing the work. I'm pretty sure he has Serene Grace. Do we get to keep him? We get to keep him and all of his weird ass belly ripples. I'm pretty sure he has Serene Grace. He's fine. He's what a, kind of Pokemon is he? Is he normal? A bug? Just normal. Pretty sure. Hey, Doesn't evolve question. into anything either. Yeah. Mantine is flying. No, uh, is it? Water flying, I think. Oh my god, is it water flying? I didn't yeah. realize. I thought it was just and water. And flying things. And water things. Go well against bugs. Yes, but that I, you you went to a very different. You Even went though this isn't a bird, does this have like advantage? Not advantage. Gosh, too much D and D. Anyways, does this have a? Uh, is this effective, especially effective against bugs, even though it's not a bird, even though it is, because it is flying? It could potentially be if it had a flying type move, but it does not. Ah, okay. Um, Why do you ask? Because it's weird and this game's full of weird shit, so I thought oh, I'd figure it out. Oh, I thought that you were asking. I was looking at Dunsparce and Marie. And I was like, are one you, does she think that one of you two are bugs? And then they both shrugged. <laughs> I don't know. You just said that Dunsparce was normal and not a bug, so I don't know what she's on about. I wish you should. Okay, no, you need to. You need to have Mantine switch out because Mareep is an electric Pokemon and will roast it. That's where I thought you were going. Kulava. Probably Yanma, so that way you can call it. Yan Yan shift. Wait. I yeah. no, you should you should be, and you should change it out for something else because Yanma is a flying bug. Yeah, uh, yes. 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 Right. Right. Good. Uh -huh. Right. Yep. Good. Correct. Um. Switching a flying water out for is, a bug flying. What is strength and what is quick attack? Those are new for me. They are normal type moves that rely on the attack stat. Strength has no particular special effect. Quick attack has a higher priority, so it will go first unless the enemy is also using a move of high priority. Okay. And then it just defaults back to it defaults back to um, speed value, speed versus speed. Okay, so quick attack is quick. Strength is strong because fur it is strong. Yes, it should actually be pretty powerful because it receives the same type attack bonus. Because he's a normal and the strength is a normal. Yes. And what's the same type attack bonus? What what percentage? I believe it's 50% to the base added to the base power of the move. Okay. So I'm I'm pretty sure that if just as an example, if strength had like 90 base power, then it would wind up with effectively 135 base power, and then all of your other statistics would be factored into it. Okay. Well, that worked, mostly. Yawn. No. Oh. Don't make me sleep. Don't do it. <laughs> no. Okay, you... I'm no. switching you out. You're not falling asleep on my watch. Uh, what? <laughs> You could just let it fall asleep and then call to it. <laughs> call, call what? Call to it. That'll wake it up. Really? Yeah, we've Does we that learned work? that we learned that before, and I was like, oh, it's like a poker flute, but you don't have this is baked into the the HUD. That's awesome. Wow, they made sleep weak in this game. Well, I mean, you know, incoming sleep, outgoing sleep is still fine. Get a quick 
quick attack and reap. Whoa! That was fast! <laughs> We've seen it before. I think an Electric used it before. Well, and we were just as impressed with the weird animation then as we are now. Well, yeah, that just proves that the... Ooh. That's frightening. What the... Paralyze instead of asleep? The hell? Why would you do that? That... I mean... Whatever. Should I switch to something that can paralyze Mr. Dunsparce or put him to sleep or something along those lines? You should either paralyze it now or you should wait until it is much lower on HP and then you should put it to sleep because sleep doesn't last forever. Paralysis mm -hmm. will unless it has, unless it pulls some sort of heal bell out of its butt or shed skin, which I, I don't think it has because I'm pretty sure that claim to fame is that it, it either always has or usually has Serene Grace. Mm -hmm. Serene They're Grace. They're both paralyzed. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> Arceus, where you be at? <laughs> hmm, Flaffy? Wait, no, I already chose Flaffy. I, I guess. I don't Yanma. Know. Sure. Yanma? Yanma. Fine, whatever. Bugs eat grass. Okay. Is that a truth? Yes, but I don't think it has any bug moves yet. Okay. Should be fine, though. At the very least, if it tries to use a grass move on you, it will do abysmal damage because I think it's bug flying, which should be one quarter mm. of grass. Grass bug damage. To Yanma. I want to see a Pokemon cult in game. Like, I'm gonna, I don't want a, a team, like a mm -hmm. team magma or a team rocket. Yeah. I want a straight up Pokemon cult that is like obsessed with Arceus. Hmm. Could be interesting. Hmm. We Maybe. Shoot. What's the difference between shock and wave? Wave debilitates, shock damage okay. does damage. Alright, we'll do wave. We'll wave at Dunspark. And then we'll call Feisty Hand Masterson. Mm. What? It's just too big. It's just too big to be friendly. I would be afraid of Yanma if I met one in real life. I would probably be afraid of it too, but I also think helicopters are cute. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe if the, it, wait, maybe like it's the all... like the rescue vehicle, like the the attack. Chopper, like helicopters, right? Like helicopters? Yeah, helicopters <laughs> are, are pretty and shapely and interesting, and they have sort of that bubble eye thing. Okay. So, you know, maybe if it was big enough, it wouldn't be so bad. If it was bigger, so after it evolves <laughs> into, into Yan Mega, I think. Yeah. Oh, no. No. Y Yanma, I think I could... I could be okay if, like, someone else had a, a Yanma around me. Yeah. Like a pet Yanma. I would leave the room <laughs> if, 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 ye if Yan Mega was... I think that its evolved form is called Yan Mega. What is, like, the biggest totally horrifying creature that you've ever seen outside of a zoo? In real life? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were asking about Pokemon. I already had that answer ready. Now I'll have to think for a second. The biggest horrifying creature that I've seen... In real life, probably isn't actually that big. Just because I've I found very few real life creatures horrifying. Yeah. Um. Sort of small, actually. Yeah. But uh. Had six limbs. I'm not sure what it is exactly. Mhm. Mm I don't know if it counts as a if it's an ar arachnid or. It might, it might not even be. It was six limbed. Four of them were wiggly. Two of them were a little stumpier. Uh -huh. And it had like a sort of integrated enclosure around its head. Green, predominantly green. Mm -hmm. um, white eyes. Sassy. Really sassy. That was really the reason why it was so nightmarish. Didn't get along very well. Not friends. Uh, don't speak very often. Wait a minute. To... 
wait a minute. How? Okay, Don't wait. you talk about my mother that way. <laughs> All right. No, uh, the, someone brought a pet tarantula Ooh. for show and, the, show and tell mm -hmm. when I was in elementary school. And I, I, I left. You left. I, I left the classroom. Well. That is, I think, the, the largest horrifying creature I've seen in my life. It was not very large. But, you know, that's... Even, even going to an aquarium? Mm-hmm. I, I know this is insane. I would rather be stuck in an enclosure, in an enclosure, excuse me, with a shark than I would be, uh, damn. Um, oh, yeah, man. No. Oh. Ooh, so. I'd rather be stuck somewhere with a shark than a tarantula. Really? Yes, I would much rather die very rapidly to shark bite, uh -huh. then slowly, comparatively slowly, to, to spider bite. Mm. I think, um... You can... Makuhita will knock it right the fuck out. I would yeah. say Kolava or Mantine. Is it the only one that's still up? Yeah. Okay, yeah, Mantine. then Mantine or Kolava. I have held and patted a series of tarantulas supervised by an entomologist who had them as pets. They are surprisingly soft and not very aggressive and won't kill you. I once gave a very large, like, koi fish a pat. Oh, that's so weird. I once patted a flap flap and it was hella weird. Hmm. I'm afraid to shadow rush. Fluffy's not too strong, though, is he? I don't think so. Okay, we'll try. We'll try for a shadow rush. And then maybe I'll wait to try his shadow rush. You should call. And then... The problem with Dunsparce right now is that since it is just a normal type, mm -hmm. it's not like there's anything you can hit it with that won't be, like, pretty effective. Mm -hmm. Regularly effective. Yeah. Although that is a doable amount of damage, it's not too bad. But yeah. He did take a little more damage from paralysis. Did, they don't take damage from paralysis. Oh, I thought, I thought, but it was wrong. No, it's just a, it's just an overly flashy visual effect. Okay. So I'm gonna have them both shadow rush him. I would not. I would start throwing pokeballs now, or have Mantine use supersonic. Mm -hmm. And then start throwing Pokeballs next turn. Why Supersonic? Because it's non-damaging. Yeah, just to not waste a Pokeball. Yeah. Okay. Just because it is, it's awfully, still awfully um, hardy mm -hmm. looking. I think it's weird that there isn't more, that you don't receive more lip from enemy trainers in this game. Mm -hmm. Because catching other people's Pokemon is... <sighs> Saying that it is a Pokemon no-no doesn't really do it justice, right? Mm -hmm. It's more than a social faux pas. It's like stealing people's puppies. Dalmatians. Or, or like a baby, but something that I would actually care about. Um, so I'm surprised that everybody seems to be pretty cool with it. Because it, every time it should be a heated conversation, it should be like, what the fuck, how did you, why, did, how and why did you just steal my Pokemon? Mm -hmm. And then you like pull out a badge that you made after the second time this happened to try to, to try to smooth the process. Yeah. And you're like, I'm with the Pokemon Secret Service. Uh, this Pokemon yes. has been infected with shadow power, and we're gonna, we're gonna have to take it back to the station. You should be lucky that we're not taking you in with us. Where did you get this Pokemon? And then they're like, whoa, whoa, man, I just, somebody gave it to me. <laughs> right? And, and that should happen every time. Yeah. 
But it doesn't. See, I'm like supposed she's supposed to beat someone as strong as you. They must be joking. Fucking vain. Please asshole. run off with my Pokemon. This is just like pocket lint, anyways, right? Who needs them?